Hey Randy, did you get your NASA women yet? I got a couple, but who are these ladies anyway? I thought I would learn more about them as I put this Lego idea set together. The four NASA women immortalized in Lego are Margaret Hamilton, Sally Ride, Mae Jemison, and Nancy Grace Roman. Not to be confused with Nancy Grace Barbarian. Lego's Women of NASA set comes with 231 pieces, and according to shop.lego.com, it's great for role-playing space exploration missions. The instruction booklet also has a lot of information on each of the four NASA women, as well as the set's fan creator. Margaret Hamilton was one of the earliest computer programmers in a time when computer programming was barely even a thing. Having a BA in mathematics, Hamilton had considered going to grad school to study abstract mathematics, but she found herself at MIT instead, developing software to predict the weather. This hands-on experience was her education, and she soon went on to join the Apollo program at NASA. I found out about the Apollo program, so I thought, I guess I should delay graduate school again, because I'd like to work on this program that puts all these men on the moon. Hamilton led a team at NASA developing the in-flight software for the Apollo missions. In particular, Hamilton is best known for her work with error handling. By creating a system of checks and alarms, Hamilton and her team were a vital part of the program's success. An entirely different Margaret Hamilton played the Wicked Witch in The Wizard of Oz. Sally Ride was the first American woman in space and third woman in space overall. The Soviets had already sent two. So let's look forward to the Lego women of Kosmicheskaya programa. Ride received a lot of media attention for being a female astronaut and faced sexist questions such as, do you weep when things go wrong on the job? There was even a Johnny Carson joke about how the shuttle launch was being postponed until Sally Ride could find a purse to match her shoes. This wasn't attention Ride brought on herself, but she handled it professionally, considering herself an astronaut and a scientist. Gender didn't matter, but for a generation of young women, Sally Ride was a pioneer breaking down barriers so that they could someday reach for the stars. I don't mind people asking me questions about what I'm going to do on orbit and whether I'm going to be doing any of the cooking on orbit unless it's asked by someone who expects that the only reason that I'm flying is because Crip needs somebody to serve him coffee. Sally's on this crew because she's well qualified to be here. Despite the media attention and being a public face of America's space program, Ride kept her personal life very private. It wasn't until after she died that it was revealed she had a 27-year relationship with her life partner, making Ride the first known LGBT astronaut. Mae Jemison was one of the younger women inspired by Sally Ride, and Jemison went on to become the first African-American woman in space. Another inspiration for Jemison was Lieutenant Uhura on Star Trek. Following the Space Shuttle Challenger accident, Jemison's entrance into NASA's astronaut program was delayed, but she was one of the 15 candidates chosen to join after the accident. She was even part of the first launch following the disaster. Jemison made her own voyage into space as part of a joint research mission between the United States and Japan. Nancy Grace Roman is a NASA icon, serving as its first female executive and known as the mother of Hubble for helping to plan the Hubble Space Telescope. She had an early interest in astronomy, forming an astronomy club at the age of 11. Her love of staring into space in search of knowledge was a perfect fit for NASA, where she created the Space Astronomy Division. She single-handedly, with the help of several others, launched orbital astronomical observatories and satellites to observe the known universe from space. Her last project was the Hubble Space Telescope, which has gone on to assist many scientists in groundbreaking discoveries ever since. Today's astronomers might take it for granted, but it was Nancy Grace Roman who pioneered viewing the heavens from beyond Earth's atmosphere. This scene is a recreation of a series of famous photographs of Hamilton standing next to stacks of her navigation software developed for the Apollo program. As the mother of Hubble, Roman comes with a space telescope and view screen. The real ones may or may not have been made out of trash cans. Mae Jemison and Sally Ride are situated with a space shuttle, being the two LEGO women of NASA who went into space. And Benny is really excited about this one. And this one I think I'll save as a collector's item. See you soon. One Giant Leap for Lego Kind.